everyone and welcome back to the RMTV Women's Podcast. This is episode 170, um, which is quite a few. I wonder how many like weeks that is. That's over like well, it'll be a lot. Well, I wonder how many like hours I've just dropped something, hours of podcasting that is. Yeah, that'll be interesting to know actually. I mean, we do waffle like 10 minutes, 15 minutes before we actually start recording as well. Um, yeah. Great. This is our opportunity to catch up because we oh, live this is like our, this is like our midweek catch up. It's not life. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. But um, yeah, we just we just thought we'd do. Obviously, with the season being over and stuff, it's not there's not as much going on in, in terms of the world of women's football. A nice little hiatus for everyone. Um, so we thought we'd just jump on this week and do. Well, obviously, we're going to chat about the um documentary i don't know why the word just completely left me yeah you, and i was you, like what's it you, called um, you, had, you glitched for a yeah, minute there. I, I just rebooted there um Could yeah. Not <laughs> yeah we're gonna talk about the documentary that um was out not last week and week before um and then we've also got a couple of questions from you guys as well which is nice we haven't done a little q a for a while so I feel like the off season is really, really hard because mm. you go through like, is it peaks and troughs? Is that what it is? Because like when the season like fi- like first ends, you go like, ah, oh, season review, what went well, blah, 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 blah. You get your departures of like players who are leaving like quite early on. And then mm-hmm. you'll go like a month, like a month and a half where absolutely nothing happens. And it comes around to trying to plan a show and you're like, what do you want to talk about? So yeah. it's really hard. But one week you'll get like four players in one week, and you're like, ah, there's so much to talk yeah. about. I think as well, like with it being the Euros coming up as well, like we'll obviously do so much around that as well. So that kind of fills a gap. Yeah. But then also, you don't want to do too much too quickly when it comes to like us next season. Like I'd love to sit here now and be like what do we expect from the WSL next season? Like, what will Liverpool achieve? And blah, blah, blah. So I feel like that's kind of like a later on in the summer type video. That's like a build-up to the season. So it's kind of like... What do we do? Hard to figure. This is just like, these are just fillers, basically, for yeah. what what we want to do. Um, so we kind of decided, didn't we, that we're going to do like one every two weeks rather yeah. than trying to have two 10-minute shows. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. If you don't see us for a week, that is why. Yeah. We just do it every two weeks. So if anything, I mean, obviously, if anything major happens, we'll make sure to do something about it. Yeah. But very much as things are just like trickling along, we can sort of compile everything into like one show in yeah. every two weeks, rather than just like, oh, this random thing happened. Whereas it's yeah. actually more informative all as one. Exactly. And it gives us just a little chance of a breather as well. Like, uh, last season was full on, like crazy. Yeah, really, really full on season. So it, it's nice just to have like a week where you're like, okay, we can just chill. That's nice. in. Yeah, yeah, we go again. Um, okay. But yeah, we'll, we'll talk about the documentary first then. Um, we had a bit of technical issues with ours. I don't know I mean, what really, was going on. The term is we had a mare. We had a we had a mayor, yeah. So you know, Amy was coming around to mine to watch it because I had LFC TV. I was like, yeah, um, put it on the telly, be nice. We have a little chill and watch it. Stick LFC TV on at like twenty past eight, half eight. Because I was like, I'll just watch whatever's on before it. And the documentary was on, and I was like, oh, is this just like? you know, the, the trailer for it, or was it like a sneak, sneak, sneak peek, like a clip? And I was like, and I watched it for a good 10 minutes, me and my dad, and I was like, this is the documentary, like, what's going on here? So rang Amy, and I was like, Amy, it's, it's on? Like, I'm watching it now, and you were like, what? I was like, yeah, I'm fully, like, like I was like, we're not, we're not, like, I think we were at, like, Dor- like not even, it might have been Durham, like, early on, or, like, I read a game around like October time and I was like, I'm fully watching it. So anyway, Amy You've got exclusive access. Yeah, Amy bolts round to ours, comes in, and I was like, 
It was on, wasn't it? Like, it was, the it was fully on. I did, it was on the time. And it was like quarter to nine. And I was like, have they got the time wrong? Or have we got the time wrong? Or like, we said it's nine, it's not eight. And so all this palaver. We were messaging other people. They were like, no, we can't see it. Like, we're not watching it. Like, what are you watching? I have no idea. Anyway, we realised that it was being premiered on YouTube as well. Yeah. So that saved the day. Because we could watch it from the beginning on YouTube. Um, it was all a bit of a weird one. I don't really still understand what happened. But no. what is important is that we got there in the end. Yeah. We watched it. It was great. But yeah, Lauren, Lauren, you were like, Amy, I think it's, I think we've missed it. And I was literally like, I had my shoes on ready to get into the car to come around at like 10 to 8, 10 to 9, sorry. And I was like, you what? Yeah. <laughs> you joking? And I was like, no, we missed it. And I was yeah. like, have the clocks changed? Have we missed it? I know, I was like, have we missed something? <laughs> like, have we missed a clock? Like, that's such a good one. Like, have we missed it? <laughs> the clock's gone back. Have they gone forward? What's going on? Like, I felt like I was in an alternate universe for yeah. about 20 minutes. I was so yeah. confused. And everyone was like, oh, well, it's starting for us now. And I'm like, it's not starting And we're like, yeah, we're like half an hour in, guys. Like, I don't know what's going on. Anyway. Yeah. You were your your LFC TV account was just been given some exclusive. Backups. And then like on the on the the te- the text it said like 1961, 62 champions, and I was like, oh. I don't know, I don't know what's happened, but there's been a, there was a glitch. Anyway, we got to watch it. We you described it perfectly. We felt like we were watching Netflix. I felt like it was like a drive to survive. Yeah, if you, you know. Yeah. Um. I really, I really, really enjoyed it. Like properly enjoyed it, and I feel like it was a good, a good thing because people can obviously you care about the football and like you care about how the season went and watching that. But it was a really good insight into like how the players felt throughout the season, yeah. like like on and off the pitch. Like we had we had a, a few new signs. Like it was nice to see how they fitted in throughout the the course of the season how things change for certain players. Like, there was a nice little bit for Riley. Um, yeah. Halfway through when she had her accent and stuff, and that was, like, a nice little couple of minute piece for her and stuff. And it, it gives people a, an insight into, like, personalities, which is yeah. so... Which I think is, like, such a crucial thing because I feel like it makes you feel like you know them rather than you just watching them play football every week, if that makes sense. It does. I agree. Like you got to see what the um, like the dressing room is like on a game day, and especially like looking into what the players were talking about. Oh, oh hey, oh hey, the bunny's coming in there, girl. Um, <laughs> it's not. It's not for me. <laughs> got an order. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, insight into like the changing room, for example, like Bristol. Mm. I, when we were driving down to Bristol on the day, like we were all absolutely shot with nerves. And then there's the Ann Kiernan and Kerry Holland in a harbour, just having a chill. <laughs> just having a coffee. Right, <laughs> okay. And then I'm probably know, driving past them, like really, like I don't know which way I can, I can go to. I don't know which one. Well, they were near those Balamori type houses. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, you know, I so remember we, driving past them, and I was going, "Wow, oh, that's lovely." Yeah. Lovely, like Balamori. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then even like the way that Matt Beard like spoke to the girls like in the changing room before they would go out to a game. And then there was that clip of Fernie and she was like, yeah. if you talk to the ref, then you do, then you, and you, and you. And it's like, I, I find that sort of stuff so interesting, like the behind the scenes stuff, because when they come out, like they know they're in front of people. Mm. So they obviously are going to um, be more aware of like what, not what they're like, not in terms of, shine away from like who what they're doing but you, like they know people are there and they have to obviously keep a level of like professionalism throughout mm. but like when it's just like them in the change room although there's a camera but I feel like they probably forgot most of the time when it's just them in the change room I think that's where you actually see their like real personality uh, and like the way the way that they are like off the pitch and I thought that was really really interesting yeah. and people that you wouldn't like necessarily think were that like loud like within the changing room like really like really like stepped out um but yeah it was great and I feel like imagine I do, do you reckon they would have released that documentary if we hadn't won the league and then it was been like wasted footage 
It's an interesting point, isn't it? Cause it's kind of one of them where it was called like, was it called like champions? Like how how Liverpool returned to the WSL or whatever. Yeah. I was like, maybe they'd have used it in terms of making a documentary, but they would have kind of gone in like a different direction with how it was all put together. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Because um, I feel like I mean I pointed this out to you, and I I don't know if I've said it before, but um. I kind of feel like it was quite rushed towards the end. Like, it was only an hour long. Um, mm. And, like, a lot of the first half of the season was spread out quite a bit. And then the last couple of games, there was kind of just small clips shown from each one. And then there was a big thing about, the, obviously, the Bristol game. And then there was a big thing about the last game of the season, which is rightly so. But there was kind of, like, a chunk of games in the middle where it was just kind of very rushed through. Um, I agree, yeah. And you were kind of just, like... An extra half an hour there wouldn't have made even yeah. an extra fifteen minutes mm. would have made that seem so much more smoother. I feel like going through. Um, I I agree. I feel like you you kind of hit the, hit the nail on the head. Like the first games were especially like I can remember obviously the opening game to London City when we lost, and then like when we came up against um, Villa in the cup. Um, and obviously won that game. I feel mm-hmm. like that was all like really like a really good like length of time to like go into it and like see yeah. the journey. And then, as you said, like you got towards like the back end of the season, which is probably like the most like nitty gritty part. They were probably, like, like the most important like moments as well, like the consistency of winning. Yeah, those games like, in the league. There was no. Nothing about the introduction of Stengel, like nothing about like the signing. Yeah, she just appeared, top. didn't she? Like, yeah. like oh, yeah. And then there was nothing about um, the home Watford game, Meg, for, Meg Campbell's throwing for the Watford game. I know they did a bit of Meg Campbell on the um, Bristol game, like they yeah. kind of like went into it. Look, I feel like they could have like like pushed that out a bit as well and maybe had like Meg talking about it because I feel yeah. like that would be really interesting to her saying like, I don't know how I throw that far, I just do it. Um, but yeah, like the Stengel thing, I don't think they put like that much into because I feel like she was quite a big part of like the end of the season. Well, yeah, she but, scored some like really crucial goals for us. Yeah. Like I think she did. She do three in three games at one point or something yeah, like that. And, like she she scores against Bristol yeah. as well, doesn't she? Like you can just she just appears celebrating, and you're like, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, I thought that was missed out, but yeah, maybe a little bit like rushed towards the end. Um, which is weird because that was like the most important part because like yeah. that's where we lifted the the trophy and and stuff like that. And I also potentially could argue that there were a couple of like faces that were missing within the team. You know, obviously they had these little smaller interviews. Like there was no Mel, there was no there was no Ash. Um, I mean, that's been very like nitpicky. There were quite yeah. quite a lot of players like in and throughout. Um, but yeah, it was just great. I enjoyed it. I really did. Yeah, no, I'd love to see. There probably is a way you can see it. Um, but I'd love yeah, to see it on DVD. <laughs> the same. End of season sale. <laughs> yeah, I'll buy it for a tenner, like. <laughs> yeah, I, I was. Um, I was. I was gonna say, there probably is a way that you can see. But mm. you know, like, if you could see like a rating for it. Like, yeah. Like out of ten, what did it get? I I actually, you know what? Like, I reckon the rating would be quite high because if you don't really follow Liverpool or the women, you're probably not gonna watch it. So everyone who watches it will like it because they like yeah. the team. Or the rating would be high. That's true. That's true. Yeah. It was great though. Yeah. I reckon they have done one for this season. <laughs> they should do really. That'd be a good like. Yeah. Um, unless like we get City, like, all yeah. or nothing. <laughs> Back where we belong. Liverpool, WSL champions. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. Oh, imagine my wish. Oh, it yeah. was good though. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah. I also feel like Matt Beard wasn't in it much, or was that just me? He was in it more at the start when he like when he obviously signed again, and then it was pre-season. But, like they didn't mention like when the squad was hit like with COVID really badly in the summer, like when like nothing like that. Or that Arsenal, mean? that Arsenal loss in the FA Cup, they didn't mention either. Yeah, they don't need to mention that. Yeah, they need to do that one. And keep that one. Yeah. That never happened. 
these are not the droids you are looking for. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so, no, it was, it was really good. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was on again the other night, I seen, like, so much of it. Um, oh, I want to watch it. Can you record it and we'll put it on DVD? No, it doesn't give me an option to record. Screen record? <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just film it like this. It's like, yeah. <laughs> um... I <laughs> remember that once when we were on the telly. <laughs> Rather than just recording the program, she sent me a message and she was, she'd like this, like scream, like was recording it. And I was like, oh. Like a 20 minute recording and yeah. we're only in it for 30 yeah. seconds. Yeah, and I was like, oh my God. Um, but yeah, it's a very mum thing, isn't it? Possibly. It is, I agree. Um, yeah, but we'll move on then. We'll move on to some um, questions we asked on both Twitter and Instagram. And to be honest, most of them were about like who would you sign where do you think we need to improve blah blah blah. but i like the way this one was worded so this is from conrad cohen 96 on instagram and he said you are my beard so picture you are my beard right now okay you can make four realistic signings to cement your wsl is it status or status Status. status I feel like status is like American. Like Stick to the status. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was thinking. To cement your WSL status, who do you sign? And I'll, I'll you know. Lucy Barnes. Well, she is available. Um, and I'll say you can pick positions as well, maybe as well, because I can't think of names today. I can't think at all, to be honest with you. Um. I feel like another midfielder would be probably a good idea. Like a strong, like mm. strong central, like midfielder. Yes, I agree. I feel like we, I would possibly bring in another forward. Obviously we've let go of Rihanna Dean and I feel mm-hmm. like that's got to fill also some defenders we've lost two I've you know what? i'd one. probably just go one in every position to be honest with you definitely yeah I, but the goalkeepers are one to look at i think obviously with riley's situation she probably won't be competing at really the whole of next season mm. um due to a recovery and then charlotte clark's only with us until january if obviously if they chose to extend that contract then they do yeah. But I'd probably bring in yeah. another second choice goalkeeper because Rachel that Rose has got that dodgy groin. Do you know what I mean? Like, groin. I feel like we've like personified her groin. Yeah, I feel like she actually. I asked her about it, didn't I? At the yeah. end of the season, and I was like, "Is, is it okay?" Because she went down injured. And she was like, "Oh, it was me knee." And I was like, oh, "That's got not, that's another thing I've got to worry about the knee and the groin." I, like, I can't do both of them. I was like, "I can't do it." Can't handle it. Pick, pick one. Fix one of them. Pick the other one. Like that's it. You like Rachel Laws's mother? I know. It's bizarre. I know. Literally, I'm trying to get a drink, and I was like, "Is the groin okay?" She was like, "The groin's fine, and he's a bit." Eh. And I was like, "Ah, oh, it's not what I needed to hear, Rachel. It's not what I wanted you to say." But she's on. You know what? She's got a nice. She's on holiday at the minute, so I'm very sure she's taking very, very good care of that groin and I knee. So. I hope so. I really hope so as well. Mm. But I feel like that's a good. I feel like that's strong to say. Probably one in every position because you've kind of let one go in every position. Yeah. Um, well, that's that's probably gives us a bit of insight into the what's going to go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let us know in the comments below who you'd like to sign. There's been, there has been some names thrown about. Okay. Um, Let me hear. Someone's thrown in. Shanice van der Sanden here. Apparently we've been linked with her. Well, that's an interesting one. A blast from the past. It is a blast from the past. But, you know, I... I she plays for I, Wolfsburg at the minute. I think she plays for Wolfsburg, doesn't she? I... The sky's the limit. Go and do it to it, right, do you know what I mean? All of these Man City players are leaving Man City to join us. <laughs> yeah. I actually do think, though, we... I don't know why I feel it within my body 
that we're going to sign Jill Scott. And I really don't know why, but I just feel like we are. Because if we... Say again. That's a bit of a mad one. But like, she's left City. She, like, she's got a business in Manchester. She's not going to want to like leave the country or leave like very far. And she's been with Everton before, so obviously knows the M62 very well. So I think it could work. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Do you not think though? Like, yeah. I've actually really thought this out. Yeah. And it's closer than Villa. Mm. It's like half an hour. Mm. Um, that's all I've got, really. Okay. I mean, it's it's good enough. It's good enough for me. Good if that enough. happens now, all I'm saying is Jill Scott, Sam is your agent. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Sorted. Can't. Um, Jade LFC20 said, Will you be at the parade on Sunday? We will, Jade. We will. We've just because... had a conversation about this. Yeah, because the gals will all be there. Fernand. I want to see Rachel Fergus hanging off the side of a bus. With I want Rachel Fergus to do a year and just be sitting on the back. Like, stop, stop. With those shades on, with yeah. the shades on, yeah, and a dog like... with her as well, in the cup, holding the cup. Yeah. No, I think I'm, I'm excited for that. I hope like all the players can go. Like, I hope um, it's going to be interesting as well because, like, what about the ones who've left? <laughs> oh, well, I don't think they'll be on it. Like, will Charlotte Wardlaw be like on the front? Do you know what I mean? Like, hi guys. Because that's a bit sly, isn't it? If you think about it, like, such a good question. Because, like, they did. I don't, win. Think, no. I don't like, think they would, you know, because that's a bit weird then, isn't it? Well, I'm a bit concerned for some of the players not being there, to be honest with you, because Leanne Robes in America for a few weeks. I don't think she's going to be so there. I don't think she'll be there. I, I think we'll have to go on in her place. The show I must think, I think, do you know what? I think there's a few vacancies, and I'll be more free. than happy to fill it. I'm free. I'm available. <laughs> I'm available. Yeah. I will be there. <laughs> yeah. I'll be there anyway, so just let yeah. me on. Just let me on. I've, I, I've, I know my health and safety. Yeah. I know how to I'll wear my mask if I need to. I know how, how buses work. I'm good with the motion of the bus to keep balance. So if anyone wants to fall, I will make sure they don't. <laughs> I am trained in that area. Okay. Um, what else? I've got a driver's license. If you, need <laughs> you, can't, you need a special <laughs> license to drive the bus. You can't drive the bus. I'll, uh, yeah. Well, like, I can just be the person that helps it reverse. How about that? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Five is on, like, yeah. 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 So, yeah, I'm available. If if needed, I can step in. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I agree. I agree. Tell you what, out of, out of context, women's podcast this week is going to have a feel. It's going to be about the boss, isn't it? It's going to be about, be about I've got a driver's license. I know it, you know it, we all know it. We all it's know it. Boss. Um, but yeah, we'll be there. So follow follow along with us. We'll obviously put loads on the our social media. So mm. if you can't make it, watch it through our eyes. We will yeah. be there. Yeah, live your best life. Can we get a nice. Us. Can we get a nice picture? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. On the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Driving the bus. <laughs> with the high vis on <laughs> just try and sneak on we'll keep our wristbands from the match and be like <laughs> excuse me <Yeah>. media <laughs> oh um, no we all, well, wait, so see, hey, hey, listen if you see us on top of the bus <laughs> don't ask questions just don't ask questions okay we're meant if to you see me driving a bus get me off it <laughs> <laughs> if we're driving maybe stop but if we're not and we're just on top, yeah. leave us be. Okay. Do you think like the women will be in the bus at the front or them? I don't know how it's gonna work. So they'll be at the back. Oh. Just the way the cookie can look. Yeah. Yeah. Jaegen's gonna be at the front, yeah. Yeah. I interestingly, I've never actually seen like Jurgen in the flesh. Well you have, because you've been to a match. Yeah, but like yeah. <laughs> I meant like, do you know what I mean? Like there. Like on the game, I'm always like quite far away. But like there. Like hello. Mm, okay. You mm. wave. 
<laughs> I'll be going, yeah, again. Yeah, again. Give me your glasses. No. I'll be like, Fanny, can I have your glasses? That was up every day, yeah, again. <laughs> Can't get saved down here. Yeah, it's big yeah. queue. The big bus driver's <laughs> holding everyone up. Queues as long as me are here, babe. So you send us a, send us a bevy. Yeah. Well, well, we've got less than a minute remaining, so we're yeah, gonna I was going to say I feel like that's a good place to end. If it abruptly cuts, cuts off, sorry, um, but yeah, if you have to print on Sunday, let us know. We don't know whereabouts we're going to be. Probably more local to us in the um, in the Isle West Strawby area. Um, I know. So we don't live far away now, do we, girl? I could probably no. see your house. No. We still need to do the um, challenge of driving. Yeah. That, can be, that can be in two weeks. Nice. Yeah, but yeah, thank you very much for watching this week's podcast. We hope you enjoy it. Um, remember to like the video, comment, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you all next time with a new video. Bye. Bye.